Semunan, 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 guys. I know, guys. Twitter, X, Anyan Vuma, guys. Yo, 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 Twitter. The Twitter, CSI, what, whatever they call the Twitter detectives. I know they, 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 they are fire. They are fire, you know, you, you, you almost, you know, you, 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 you don't believe how efficient black people can be when they work together. We, we saw it with the Tabu Besta, you know. Tabu Besta was caught by Twitter. It wasn't caught by Samson, it was Twitter. Currently what's trending, I don't know if you guys have seen it. Um, a young lady, I'm not going to say her name because she's still a, a school child and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a parent. So a young lady, a matric child, um posted a video on her instagram and it written there pov four year anniversary right and then she shows poof, she got a new iphone 15 pro beautiful phone you know and she's sitting there she's in her school uniform she's in the passenger side um of this car so she's got a safety belt or whatever seat belt and we are checking his phone. She's like, oh my God, she's so emotional at this amazing gift. And she's so grateful. And she kisses a partner. We can't see the partner, right? This is not the first time we see people get presented with the phone. Um, Naming your papa. We didn't even notice the partner. We just saw them kissing someone. And then she says, thank you, love. Or thank you, sweetie. That's why I assumed we'll go to a partner. Um, partner, what is sweetie? Partner, yeah, partner. Um, so... It's not new that sisters are presented with phones. It's not new that we see sisters in cars that look very fancy with the Masan roof. That's not new. Um, I think what took a lot of people back is she's wearing a school uniform. And then she writes their four-year anniversary. Uniform. Ah, I want to get to Twitter. I want to switch to my CSI. I want to switch to Twitter. And did a bit of back background search based on her TikTok that she had posted or on Instagram, wherever the platform, found out that she's a, a young lady uh, who's in matric. So four years anniversary, that means she was 14 when she dated whoever this person is that presented her with this fancy iPhone with the kiss uh, and we would assume in the car. I did dig. Dig, dig, dig Twitter. Twitter then goes into her, previous, her, her old posts Who's this? They find silhouettes, they find fingers, they find this. Eventually, they find the number plate of a car, you know. Um, boom. They find out who the car belongs to. And it belongs to a gentleman by the name of, I think, Un Tsigelelo, Tsigelelo uh, Kamanga. I think I'm saying his name. Uh, I hope I'm saying it properly. Um, so, it came out to go see this guy who people on to show about how old he is. He could be 45. He could be 50. What they do know is that he's a pastor. Mfundis. Mfundis who started dating a 14-year-old. A whole grown man who is, I don't know, 40, 50, whatever uh, people are speculating to, to, to be his age, but is, was dating a 14-year-old. This guy is a pastor. You know, he's seemingly successful as a pastor because he's driving uh, beautiful um, Mercedes-Benz. You know, again presenting amazing gifts there's there's videos of her playing with stacks of money all these things and you're like yo and it's so crazy because now you're watching this and i'm watching the incredible things of twitter and i'm watching this and i talk shit about twitter all the time and i'm watching this i'm watching this and i'm going that's a 40 year old man with a 14 year old baby or at least that's where it started she, she's now 18 i'm a fucking father I'm a man, I'm 35. You know, the idea of being with a 20 year old makes me feel uneasy. Let alone me at 35 being with a 14 year old baby. My, my son is, my son is, is in grade three. If, if I'm dating, a person who's 20 is closer to my son's age than to my age. A 20 year old, if you are 20, you are closer to my son's age than to my age. So, again, if I'm dating a 20-year-old, I feel like mm, mm, date, I'm dating my child to an extent, if you understand what I'm trying to say. And we, we look at these relationships and we look at these things and we're going, like, um, we, we, we saw it with Ara Kelly and Aaliyah. People didn't say shit. When R. Kelly married a 15-year-old baby, 
people still listen to his music step in the name of love i know i did so i'm just a hypocrite as you guys are when a grown man is having sex with an underage baby we listen to his music as the perverts that we are by celebrating that because again it says to say something about us if you have no moral ground to be under to, to still be supporting whether it's by your ear whether it's by your pocket to supporting a grown man with a little baby there's something wrong with you clearly something wrong with me did he same shit how many times did he started dating cassie how old was cassie how old was cassie wasn't cassie like 16 when they met and bumped in dubai along those lines what did people say shit jay-z beyonce Ooh, we're part of the behind part of the behind just because the relationship became famous when she was 18 or 19 doesn't mean that they started dating there you do a little bit of research you start digging you find out when she was 16 but it's about time that because it, it it ended well so all good if it ends well but again these grown men are with little babies we seeing it now and when i actually start scrutinizing a lot of the comments I'm realizing with the reason why a lot of people came together to find out the shit is because a lot of people were fucking mad and hating that this 18 year old is in this expensive car, has this guap, has these gifts. So a lot of it came from just hate. Not what if we were concerned that this baby is being victimized and raped by a grown fucking man, but it's coming from a point of just being sour. And I'm sitting back and I'm going, like how, how fucked are we as a society? We can do something so amazing, but with dark intentions. Right now, we only check. Guys, you know people in your life where their relationship is questionable. You know people, whether, I'm not talking about which it has to be your friends or your family or your, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about with, in your journey, you know people where a grown person with a young person. Maybe your dad was 60 years old when he met your 20 year old mama. We don't know. George Clooney had a baby at age eight, 80. He's got a two-year-old and he's eight years old. Are we saying nothing? Is it only when Uzuma is going with a, a 24-year-old to we then, Hi Uzuma, all wrong. Hi Uzuma, all wrong. When, when, when it's him, but when other people that we said dance, step in, step in the net, step in the net, because the arcade, you know, because with Jay-Z, because with Asha, you know, again, I, I, I am not going to judge a 14 fucking year old baby who was victimized by an adult. I'm not going to judge. If this lady was 24, 26, and she's with the 50 year old, I'll say she's a gold digging hoe. She was 14 with a 40 year old. Four... It's a baby. <laughs> it's a baby. It, I, I get emotional thinking about it. How, how can we use places like Twitter and the amazing Things that we have seen from Tabum Pesta to this exact situation that I'm talking about with Lo 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 Babum Fundis, how can you use it to fix so many wrongs that we currently have in society? How can we use it? Because we see, we see certain overage females. I'm talking about like when I say overage, I'm talking about uh, 20 and above with criminals. Oh, see, see, about to let push gift from him, I'm a drugs, but to let me push gift from him, I'm a chiffy. How can we use Twitter to expose that and say, guys, we are now doing this ex CSI or ex detectives to actually root out crime? Or, or do we only use it when we're mad and we're not benefiting? When, when we, as the 26 year old, we're not getting bought bottles. So when that happens and we're not getting bottles and we're sour, then we utilize it to expose. I was actually listening to Musi Maimani because Musi Maimani was like, hey, look, this guy needs to get arrested. I agree. I imagine I am agreeing with Musi Maimani. I'm agreeing though. I'm agreeing this guy needs to get arrested. And where the fuck is this poor girl's mother? Oh, if they, they, I'm like, oh, really? They lose. Uh, they say her mom's a hoe. Okay, my poor aunt. Okay, my poor aunt. My poor aunt. Where is this baby's dad? Where is this little 18 year old's dad? Where is her father? Guys, it, is, is it just that the whole society has fucked up and we've just let her go to a point where hyenas have come in for the kill? Because clearly that's the situation. She, she explains with the first time she met this guy, she was coming back from school. She was walking in her uniform. This guy pulls up. You, you, you're an... 
What's wrong with your brain if you 40 and you see in Ghanikogi uniform and all of a sudden you're like, ah, no, eh, ah, 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 ah. She's a baby. She's a baby. As society, we need to come. If that, if that was my friend, I'd be like, hey, bro, nah, dog. Uh-uh. Nah, 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 nah. I want to call him Chita Wanu. Pastor, Pastor, nine, nine, Pastor, call him. Utu, me. And I'm assuming that his crew is still playing music with him. He's a DJ. He's still playing music. You guys are supporting this behavior. You're supporting immorality. You're supporting something that you know is wrong. But in Tule, you're not saying anything. You're not saying anything. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm saying that I make mistakes. But again, there's a line. And the line is legal and immorality. That's where the line must be. You know, I'm not trying to be selling kilos of coke to floss on people. That That is illegal. That go wrong. Guys, we need to draw a line. The Not what you want to do. Uh, on, a, on a Tuesday morning. That's wrong. But it's not illegal. Pussy eat tequila on a Tuesday morning. Guys, when is into as immorally as as not doing what is his egg? Yabon Nina 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 Chomba Chomba, my friends. I guys, no ways. I mean, I can't support this type of thing. I think it's I think it's the dirtiest, most devilish thing. And the irony is not lost in the sense that this guy is a pastor doing something so demonic of him being in his 40s. Sleeping, I would assume, because very much sleeping with a 14 year old baby up until she's 18 and buying her gifts, you know. Nah, if if I was the father uh, of, 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 of this little baby, um, yeah, I would think too long, I should think in that, but I, I'm going to have a baby, I'm going to have a 14. He no 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 I wouldn't agree with my nephew I wouldn't agree with anyone that I love and Konabat Pase Foslo who saw this happening and did fucking nothing there's family members this little baby's family members that saw something happening people I know in the comments oh but she's 18 she's an, and she's an adult she was 14 a baby when this started happening to her things have started happening to you if you got victimized and raped at 14 that changes how you think if she's doing this and started as a 20 year old or as an 18, I would agree. I would agree. The things that Ukale is under age. If she was 20 and now she's 23 and she's showing a 60 year old man, I'd be like, oh, check out these gold digging hoes. It's a different conversation. She's a full grown adult, but not when she was 14. Because she's celebrating a four year anniversary. We all saw that. People are showing receipts. Some are saying what they've been together since they were 12. Some people are saying that. You know, none of this will obviously the age and the dates and what has been verified. I'm just letting you know with the tea. Now, guys, we need to do better as a society. And then we need to use these tools, go X, in order to protect our most vulnerable part of, of society. Whether we use it to stamp, to stomp away GBV, whether we use it to stomp away things like this pedophilia, whether we're using it away for criminality of which Let's use it for the right things. Let's come together. Let's actually start digging and finding things like we did with the Tabu Pesta. Let's also find things to actually fix our communities. Guys, we can do better. We, we really, really can. We really, really can. So let's clean up our own homes. Let's take out Upetri in our own eyes. Let's fix our immediate circle. Let's call out the wrongs. Let's call out the wrongs. Let's be honest. Let's call a spade a spade and have a pure heart when we're doing so because we want to do what's best for the next person. We're not doing it out of sourness. We're not doing it because we're mad that uh, we're not the ones benefiting. We're doing it because we can see what's wrong or wrong. Anyway, guys, that's just me venting around this grown pastor raping a little girl. Um, I don't know if the algorithm is going to block out that word and cancel this video, but... It, it is what it is, and I need to be open and honest. And I, I hope that this man gets arrested. Uh, I hope that um, the, the lady's mother, this little girl's mother, gets arrested. I hope whatever parenting, supervision, or whoever the guardians, they also get arrested. Um, I hope 
adults around the church that knew about this get shunned um, and get guilted into letting this little girl get victimized. Um, I hope all the people that were talking nasty of a little high school girl, and I'm saying little, not in the sense of matric people are little, but in the sense that Nasingi Mbona is the person who are color, Bani 14. And I hope all the people that were saying these nasty things about, because they, they actually check their own hearts. You know, Tina uh, Sbadala, Tina, we're 35, we can take all these shots. Um, our sisters who are 25, our brothers who are 25 can take shots. But again, Mona 14, mm, nah. Let me know what you think, guys. Let me know what you think. Engage with me. Um, if I'm just talking rubbish, tell me. Hey, bro, you're talking rubbish. None of that stuff is actually saying it's true. Then I'll apologize. I'll be like, hey, saying I'm pop. But again, um, her Instagram has been taken down. Her TikTok has taken down. This guy's, all his church's face, Facebook pages were taken down. So Nami doing this research from their end has been incredibly difficult because from their side, they have canceled and blocked and removed themselves uh, from all social media. So a lot of this information that I have is third party, um, having gone through a, a social media myself and, 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 and getting that information. But if you guys know anything that I don't, please let's share. Um, just around again, Ukutis Kulsan, but in Yantanda, man, and I really want the best for society. And I know that if um, we fix society for us, it will be in a better space for our kids and our kids' kids, you know. So if you haven't yet uh, subscribed, please hit that subscription, uh, hit the notification bell, um, share this video, share this video, share this video, comment. Agree if you agree, disagree in the most respectful way, but have yourselves a fantastic day. Shop.